listen, I am with this household that doesn't understand that we have a schizophrenic girl that has not been cared for for 12 years. I mean, neglected and basically abused for 12 years. She lost her teeth. She turned 50 today and has no teeth. We had to extract them all because her teeth had rotted out and still no one was caring for her. So her teeth hurt so bad. Her feet were about to fall off. She had foot fungus that was so bad. We had to take her to foot doctor, but then we ended up just having to every day, like, you know, uh, put cream and cream and cream and cream and cream on her feet. She was in so much pain. She was on meth and her mom didn't even know she's on meth, who's my mother-in-law. And we all have just been having fun. We didn't know because we thought my mother-in-law, but my mother-in-law, who is 85 years old now, has basically just lived it up for 85 fucking years at the neglect of her kids. And I cannot get it through the household that it doesn't fucking matter what Gloria wants to do right now or what we want to do right now. If like everyone thinks, oh, this is boring sitting at home. No one has been with this girl for 12 years. She has been home alone for 12 years. Basically burnt down the house a couple times because she smokes all day and then goes on a walk for like 10 miles and her feet almost fall off. And everyone's still like, I'm bored. I, this isn't fun. I want to go back to the casino. I want to go shopping. And I'm like, can for one fucking year even, can it be about Annette? I mean, it's going to be for the rest of Gloria's life. But I mean, it hasn't even been one year. And she is already wanting a car to get out of the house. And wants to go back to the casinos. And, wants to, and wanted to go to a show for Annette's birthday. Annette cannot go to a show. Annette has never gone to a show. And on her 50th birthday, when we know all Gloria wants to do is go back to the casino to go to a show, she recommends to take her daughter to a show for her birthday. And we have no money on top of it too. But she was so self-absorbed once again that she wants to get back to the casino because she went on New Year's Eve when we didn't get to go. We didn't go on New Year's Eve, which also rolled into our 10-year wedding anniversary because we got married on New Year's Day. But it was New Year's Eve that rolled into our 10-year wedding anniversary, which she didn't even remember, nor have we even said anything because we don't even, we know it doesn't even fucking matter to bring it up at this point. But she was the only one in attendance of our wedding and she didn't remember. And she was out dancing, which we let her go. But all night, we spent all night going and getting our, our sister because she goes for a walk and we don't want her to walk in so far and like her feet fall off and also walking to the source of meth. So we constantly have to pick her up, drive her back home. But half the time she doesn't want to get in the car, so we have to though we can't just say oh just forget about it. we have to set the alarm another 10 20 minutes we're out to go run errands right now we're worried about her even though Gloria's home but she's useless and Gloria was mad because we weren't asking her about how much fun she had for eight hours of dancing and five days later wants to go out for her daughter's birthday basically go dancing go back to a show that has nothing to do with her daughter. Her daughter can't even go. So what Gloria's idea today would be for all of us to go and leave Annette home on alone on her birthday. Doesn't even realize Annette should not be home alone. Like she, if we said okay, she goes, oh, Annette's fine. Annette's always fine. Annette was about to die when we got there. And Annette's always fine. But if Gloria doesn't get her massage monthly. We give Gloria a massage monthly. It costs $160. And she's like, oh, I, I really need my massage. I'm like, the only person in the house that gets a massage um, and thinks that's cheap. That's not cheap, $160 a month for your stupid massage. But that's not enough. It's not enough that she's the only one that gets to go use the pool and spa that she just sits at the spa for two hours a day. That's not enough. That we uh, do everything for her. She doesn't have to get, I guess she doesn't get to leave the house that often, but most 85 year olds are okay with that. She's retired. Um, no, she couldn't for five days even let it, five days of the new year let it be about her daughter when her daughter's birthday is on January 5th. She wanted to leave her home alone and pretending it was about her. Let's take Annette to a show. Well, Annette hasn't been able to go to a show for about 50 years, but I'm glad you noticed.